World Edit is one of the best mods for Minecraft, especially if you're a builder, because you can build massive structures, replace tons of blocks. There's literally brushes that you can create to paint Minecraft from trees to replacing blocks with a brush. It, it truly is amazing. Let's go ahead and get it. First things first, you want to go to the second link in the description down below, and that will take you here. This is our in-depth text guide on getting World Edit, and once you're here, go ahead and click on the green Download World Edit button. When you do, it'll take you to World Edit's official download page on CurseForge, and on this download page, we want to go ahead and click on Files. Then once we've done that, we want to locate the 1.20.2 version. World Edit is amazing because it uses the same version for every single mod loader. So the same file for every mod loader, amazing. Once you have found that version, 1.20.2, click the three dots on the right hand side and click download file. While this is downloading, have an from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below the breakdown .xyz sgh to start your very own 24 hour DDoS protected Minecraft server. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily add mods like World Edit, plugins like World Edit. World Edit's also a plugin, by the way, or mod packs, it's truly up to you. You can even host a vanilla server. Whatever you want to do with a Minecraft server, you can do it at Simple Game Hosting. And if you have any issues along the way, we have amazing live chat support and a high quality help center to help you out. So if you want to start a Minecraft server and start playing Minecraft with your friends, check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below the breakdown to xyz slash sgh to start your server the simple way. Well, it is now downloaded. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. Once you've done that, we also need to download Forge. Forge is the mod loader that allows World Edit to work with Minecraft. So basically Forge sits in between World Edit and Minecraft and lets them talk to each other. We have a link in the description down below to here. This is our in-depth guide on how to install Forge. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but let's say you have an error. You have exit code 1 or 0, for example. How do you fix that? Well, I can't cover all that in this video, but we can cover it in this guide, and that's why it's here. So go ahead and click download here on our Forge guide, and when you do, it'll take you to Forge's official download page. Now, we want to make sure that we're selecting the 1.20.2 version. It's not what we have here. So we want to come to the left-hand side, click 1.20, and make sure 1.20.2 is selected. Once we see it here, we can come under Download Latest if you don't have Download Recommended. If you have Download Recommended, you'll want to go under that. But nevertheless, once you have found 1.20.1, click Installer under Download Recommended, and it will start downloading. You may need to keep or save the file depending on your browser, and that is perfectly normal and 100% okay to do exactly that. Once you've done that, we can go ahead and minimize our browser. What we want to do is move World Edit and Forge to our desktop. So go ahead and find them. They're in your Downloads folder most likely, but they're going to be wherever files normally download for you. Now we're going to start off with Forge because we need to get Forge before we can get World Edit. To do that, right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. But Nick, I don't have Java. Well, if you don't have Java, you need to get it. Java 17 specifically, and it's linked down below with an in-depth video and text guide on exactly how you can get Java. On top of that, you may need to run the jar fix, but don't run the jar fix until you've got Java. So step one, get Java. Step two, run the jar fix. And then we can install Forge. To do it, go ahead and right click on Forge, click on Open With, click Java, and click OK. Once the mod system installer for Forge is open, click Install Client, click OK, and it will begin installing. The only reason this wouldn't work is if Minecraft or the Minecraft launcher are open. Make sure both of those are closed. Or if you've never played Minecraft 1.20.2 before. If that's the case, go play it. Just vanilla. That means no mods or anything installed. Once you're on the main menu, close out of it, and then come reinstall Forge, and it'll work. Go ahead and click OK here to close out of Forge and the Forge installer because it is successfully installed. Now we can delete Forge from our desktop and let's get World Edit. To do that, we want to open up the Minecraft launcher here. Now in the Minecraft launcher, we want to make sure that we're selecting and playing Minecraft with our Forge installation. Now most of you will probably have one by default, but if you don't, we're here to help because we're going to make sure that you can get one and get Minecraft open with Forge. Now for us, it's already there. So if you've got this, click play, click play again, and then skip forward a little bit in the tutorial, probably about 30 seconds. If you don't have Forge here, what you want to do is go to the Installations tab. Then make sure Modded is checked up here on the top right, and boom, there's Forge. If you've got it, you know what to do. Click Play, click Play again. But if you still don't have Forge here, let's create a new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it SimpleGameHosting.com because this is the easiest way to play Minecraft with your friends. And then what we want to do is go ahead and click the Versions drop-down box. Here we then want to select Release 1.20.2-Forge. We want to select the Forge installation. 
That's all you've got to do here, but I'm going to change the resolution so you can see, and then click Create in the bottom right. Now we have this new SimpleGameHosting.com profile that most importantly has 1.20.2-Forge under it. Hover over this, click play, and click play again. And now Minecraft's going to open up with Forge. That's the hard part. The easy part from this point is installing World Edit. Literally, the easy part of getting World Edit is installing World Edit. The hard part is getting Minecraft and Forge to work together to be able for it to run. So I'll meet you on the main menu, where all we've got to do from the main menu is click on Mods, and then click Open Mods Folder. Again, do that real quick, again, because it was, well, quick. So go ahead and click on Mods on the main menu, and then click Open Mods Folder. They'll open your Mods Folder. Well, all you need to do is take that World Edit file we downloaded and drag and drop that into the Mods Folder right like so. Now, if you go back to Minecraft, it's not here. It's not going to be here. You need to quit out of Minecraft, and then you need to reopen it, again, making sure you're playing with that Forge installation. Every time you launch a Minecraft, you want to make sure you're playing with the Forge installation, because otherwise... It won't work. You gotta have Forge installed in order to run World Edit in Minecraft. So, as you can see, we've got our Forge installation here, either the one that was there by default or the one you created in our case, simplegamehosting.com, and then launch Minecraft with your Forge installation. Now, on the main menu, if we go ahead and click on Mods, we'll be able to see World Edit is there and working. We can obviously jump in game as well and be able to see that World Edit's working there too. How do you use World Edit? Well, a lot of it is actually using commands. So we would do slash slash wand, for example, and that gives us a World Edit wand. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and replace a big thing of grass here with diamond blocks. So we can come over here and do that. And so basically we're left clicking and right clicking. Right click and then left click the other part of the selection. And then anything inside of that is going to be changed. When we run slash slash replace, and then we want to name the block we're replacing, which is a grass block. And then we want to replace that with a diamond block. When we hit enter, boom, it's done. Now, I actually kind of like this world. It's my demo world. We demo versions and different stuff in here. So I don't want this in here. So let's do slash slash undo to undo what we just did. You can also do crazy stuff. Like I said, like use brushes. So let me go ahead and get a random tool for you real quick. And I will show you what I mean. So let's take a diamond shovel here. And we're going to do a slash brush. And then you can do all sorts of different brushes here. I always like to do the forest brush. You can name it if it's a sphere, a cube, whatever you want. And then you name the tree you want. Which we're actually going to do something uh, really cool here. Which is cherry trees. And then boom. So now this is a brush. And anywhere we click... A cherry tree spawns. Look at that. So I'm going to flesh out this area a little more here. I kind of actually do care about this area. So I want to make sure uh, make sure it works. You might be like, what do you mean you care about this area? Wouldn't it always work? Well, the problem is it will always work. So if I click there, um, you can grow cherry trees on top of cherry trees. Which um, isn't my look if you ask me. Um, and it doesn't seem like it, it wanted to undo it. There might still be some bugs in this version of World Edit. So the brushes seem to be permanent. But you can do this for any sort of, you know, biome or any sort of tree that you want. Even mushrooms, which is not something you would generally expect. So there you have it. Let us know if you have any questions down below. But you now have World Edit in Minecraft 1.20.2. We'll see you in the next video, and I'm out. Peace.